Mwah. What's up, YouTube? Poor Man Podcast back with another video. Today's video is Kevin Samuels being called out by celebrities, all right? This is by the spiritual whistleblower or this, yeah, spiritual whistleblower, something like that. I guess she is against Kevin Samuels and his message. All right, before I get into the video, I got to do the YouTube stuff, though. The goal is 20,000 subscribers by June. It's a crazy goal. It's a big goal, but it's my goal, all right? The only way I'm going to get to my goal is if y'all give me the HBO special. Do you know what the HBO special is? That's the help a brother out special, all right? So go on and help a brother out. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. I'm going to give y'all a second to do that. All right, now let's get to the video. Actually, wait one, one more second. Before I get to the video, I do do these videos on Kevin Samuels and other content creators that I, we, I feel like we have to defend because as a red pill content creator, I understand what the flack that you get. When you get people who make common sense, when people who make so much sense and have the facts to back them up, afraid to go, like Kevin Samuels, afraid to go on shows like, uh, like Dr. Phil. And those bigger mainstream media shows because we know what happens with that. Okay, we get cancel culture. We get people trying to deplatform you. All right, so Kevin Samuels has been playing his cards right and, and deciding what podcasts and what media sites he wants to go on because he knows he has to play the game smart because people don't want to hear this message. All right, uh, you get people like Abba and Preach, a, a channel that's just hit a million subscribers and I believe is almost blue pill. They're a little bit easier on some of the concepts that we talk about. Last week, they got their whole channel dropped from the from the from the uh, YouTube partnership program. And for those who don't know, that's basically monetiza monetization on YouTube without a fair trial, without any reasoning. They just got dropped a channel with a million subscribers. So what do you think they do to a channel like me or a channel like uh, Coach Greg Adams or uh, AMS or Kevin Samuels? All right, so all of this, we got to go ahead and, and, and knock it out right away. All right, let's get into the video. Let's see what you got to say. Celebrities are calling out Kevin Samuels. All right, let's get into it. Hey, guys, Spiritual Whistleblower here, just checking in with a very brief video um, just to, like, update you guys. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the news um, on these urban celebrity blogs, but... Um, Kevin Samuels is now being called out by these celebrities. Um, and I'm really glad because, you know, over the last two weeks, the the little, the few videos I've made of him, um, the blatant disrespect and the behavior of his followers, it really screams out to you know, the rhetoric that he preaches. If he's preaching about, you know, he's preaching to his audience of men on how to be high value, but then you see his followers acting like a bunch of animals and hooligans and disrespecting women and not being classy and taking a high road. His, you know, Kevin Samuel's words have no value or no power because his followers are... Okay, well... The last statement of his his uh, his words have no value or power is a contradiction to exactly what she said. And that is her saying that his fans are a little bit passionate, probably a little aggressive, because this is the first time, especially from a black man. We uh, as a whole, OK, we have other people like Jordan Peterson. Uh, he's a white man, though. OK, we've had other white men step up and talk about these topics, but we have yet to talk about these important topics in the black community. So you get a lot of black men and I have them on my channel, too, that are very passionate about the situation and about the topics. So when you get people saying, oh, uh, just basically dismissing how people feel. Yes, you're going to get people you're going to get some flack for that. All right. And, and Kevin Samuels or any other con red pill content creator for that for that matter, we can't control what people who see our videos do. And for you to expect that is just absolutely ridiculous. Kevin Samuels ain't going to be able to, or whoever, whoever it may be, a red pill content creator isn't going to be able to control his hundreds of thousands of followers or subscribers or whatever you may, whatever they may call them. That's just irrational. It's, it, that, it's never going to happen that way. All right, let's continue the video though. Because I, I, I've yet to, I want to get into the names of these uh, quote unquote celebrities that are calling him out negatively. Because from from my experience, what I've been seeing lately, 
uh, on just my Facebook timeline because I don't try. I try to not listen to other content creators because I don't want to be like other content creators. You know what I mean? I want to have my own specific message and I don't want to start to be swayed because I'm listening to other content. I do dabble every now and then. Uh, but from what I've been seeing, it's been pretty much good feedback. It's been a lot of women, of course, uh, right away. They say, I don't I don't like the message. But if you give them some time and they continue to listen to it. They start to reflect and they start to understand maybe he maybe he ain't just crazy and you ain't got to agree with everything he say, but it's the it's the message at the you know what I mean? It's the message. Don't worry about the messenger. Worry about the message. OK, let's continue the video. Absolutely not behaving like high value men. So um, what I want to say to you guys, because I've been called a hater, <laughs> a clout chaser and everything else, the things that he does they just ignore, they just flat out ignore the fact that he's been clout chasing, that he's been stealing. When he started his channel, he stole everything. He's a, he's the biggest clout chaser and, and, and he has stolen content to build his own channel up. They will not, they will, they just straight up won't, won't even acknowledge the fact that he's a fucking thief and a clout chaser constantly tagging Beyonce in his videos. But you know, that's delusion. That's what we, you know, narcissistic people, his followers are narcissists and sociopaths. But then, you know, you know, there's this other notion that someone's hating on him. Who the fuck wants to hate on him? Who the fuck is he? He's a, he's, he's my channel been built. Okay. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos that I've built over the last three years and out of two weeks that I decide to speak against Kevin Samuels, now I'm a hater. But never mind all the other YouTubers that, that have called him out for his fucking atrocious behavior. I guess they're haters too, right? Everybody's a hater that speaks out against Kevin Samuels. So it's crazy because you just gotta find something that sticks okay you you guys that are that are coming up and, and are against the message that are against the movement that are against what red pill content creators are saying in general you guys especially when you start to attack a person and you you just got to be better all right you got to come with facts man i'm not seeing anything but opinion i'm not seeing anything but opinion and you say that he, he's not important but he's important enough for you to make an entire video out of you look stressed I don't want I mean, if it's if he's not important and you've been making your own content for years and you're not clout chasing off of his name, then then why bother? Why continue to make videos on him if you just don't care if he's not important? And like you said earlier, if his message doesn't resonate with anybody. I'm not understanding. It's like it's a, it's a contradiction. The further we go, the more she's just contradicting her argument. You can't say that a person doesn't matter, but then make an entire video for them. It's a contradiction. Let's continue. Theopathic scamming behavior. Nonetheless, the point in this video is that I am super happy and ecstatic and elated that celebrities, yes, celebrities are now calling him out for being a fuck nigga. Who? Oh. And, you know, um, just so, uh, a man who is really broken but he's hiding behind this rich man facade and he's not a rich man and and his followers are fucking doing i have to tell you this now all right based on my analytics and how much i get for my videos and 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 without me even doing live streams and and taking donations from folks and and having a patreon set up i'm here to tell you right now kevin samuels is very wealthy uh, I, in the last video, I said something about this topic and a lot of people corrected me and said he was a millionaire before the videos. I'm not here to die on that message. I don't know about that. Okay. I don't know anything about that. I'm just here to say right now from his analytics compared to from what his videos do compared to what my videos do and how passionate his audience is and how much they donate to, to, uh, to, to, uh, support his message because they're passionate about that. And that's what it's supposed to be. If you find value in content show some support to that creator that content creator because we do work and and it is a tough job and we take a lot of flack socially and we have to do you can't turn it off is what i'm saying i i, I go to family events and i got to talk to the females in my family almost every every time i go to one 
because they want to discuss something i talked about on the videos you know what i'm saying so we can't turn this off so yes if you do find support and, and you like and, and you like content yeah support it and that's what his followers do and they've gotten him to the point where i'm telling you right now if he's not a million if he's if he's not a multi-millionaire he's definitely a millionaire so all that whole he's broke and youtube isn't a business and oh he grew off youtube and and it doesn't matter because he's there now all right so you can keep you can keep crying or you can just stop making videos on him i don't understand what what are we doing let's continue delusional so it's it was nice for me to see like celebrity comedian and these are black men black celebrities calling him out for his fuck behavior uh comedian godfrey um comedian earthquake these are two a-list celebrity comedians um celebrity com comedians might i add two black men by the way defending black women and you know shutting down kevin samuels and you know these are two comedians that have way more money than Kevin Samuels, bigger status, way bigger platforms. So I, you know, it's interesting. Are they haters too? Because they're calling Kevin Samuels out for his fuck behavior. Let's see the double standards here. Or is it just easier to attack a black woman and say, you know, what's your dress size? You're single, Good blah, 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 blah. God. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's, the double standards are crazy. But it's it's interesting. I'm just sitting back and I'm sipping my tea because now the celebrities are getting fed up of him and he's being called out by the celebs. So to all his wonderful followers that spew hatred, are you going to start calling the celebrities haters? I mean, these celebrities have way more money than Kevin. These celebrities have way bigger platforms than Kevin. Are they haters too because they're calling him out for being a fucking douchebag? Are you going to hold these celebrities to the same standards that you've held me? Are okay, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. There's two minutes left of the rant. Because I, I do these videos because I'm waiting to hear some facts, man. That's one of the reasons too. I'm waiting to hear some facts. Like, where, where, I'm, where are the facts? Where are all the concrete facts? facts okay you got celebrities godfrey earthquake they don't agree with kevin samuels and they may or may not have more money who cares i don't know all right number one money doesn't make your opinion more valid it just doesn't all right so i, I don't even know why that's even a point point. and number two no one's no no person has ever been agreed with by everybody that's not how the game works when you get to a certain level you're gonna have people that disagree with you Fortunately enough, Kevin Samuels allows people that disagrees with him to come on the show. So anybody who disagrees with him, it's not that hard. You can get on the show, especially if you're a figure like Godfrey or Earthquake. And I and I love and by the way, I do enjoy Godfrey and I like his content. And he does have a pretty straightforward message towards black women too. And he is a black woman lover like me myself. I am not for all that uh black men that that ain't that don't try to date black women that don't love black women just coming on here for wet for armor and weapons so they can use it and go back to facebook and complain about black women all right if you don't date black women you're out of the conversation we're talking about building black families here how we can become more uh how we can become together again well when it comes to black men and black women so if you don't have any you know stake in that if you don't care about that, then you can go and be with white women or Asian women or whatever you want to do. And that's good for you. Do what you want to do. But th the content that I create is for black men and black women. All right. So like and nobody, like I said, you won't he nobody will ever have everybody agree with them. So that argument is dead. I, I just am waiting for the facts. Somebody please come with the facts. And if y'all got a video that says something bad about any red pill content creator that actually can stick, that actually has some merit, that has some facts backed up, I'm willing to look at it. Will I make a video on it? Probably not. I'm not with all the drama. I'm not going to spend it. You know what I'm saying? But I'll at least look at it. All right. Because if, if, if I am a person, a person of, of facts, okay, if you can come with me or uh, come to me, with a message that will 
or with facts that will sway my opinion i am willing to be swayed if the facts are presented but there has to be facts presented and not just opinion okay and even facts on personal character that's genuinely it, it, it generally not enough because i care more about the message than i do the messenger so if you can attack the message with facts and and come correct and i'm willing to listen to it until then until next time